title, Krishna and Radha, the Eternal Dance of Love. 1. The birth of Krishna, in the grand city of Mathura, with its towering palaces and bustling markets, a prophecy stirred the air. King Kamsa, a ruler known for his ruthless might, had just been told that his end would be at the hands of his sister Devaki's eighth child. When Devaki married the noble Vasudeva, the entire city rejoiced, unaware of the storm brewing overhead. As their chariot rode through the city streets, a voice from the heavens declared the prophecy. Kamsa, in his fury, imprisoned the couple, determined to prevent the prophecy from unfolding. As years stretched on, the prison walls witnessed the birth and tragic death of seven of Devaki's children. But on the fateful night of Krishna's birth, the universe conspired to protect the divine child. A brilliant light enveloped the prison as Krishna was born. To safeguard his life, Vasudeva, guided by a divine voice, carried him to Gokul, where he was exchanged with another newborn. Journey was fraught with challenges, but nature herself bowed to Krishna, with the river Yamuna parting its waters for Vasudeva. 2. Vrindavan, the playground. With its endless meadows and the serene river Yamuna, Vrindavan was the perfect backdrop for young Krishna's adventures. Adopted by Yasoda and Nanda, Krishna's days were filled with playful antics and heartwarming tales. The young lad, with his deep blue complexion and eyes that seemed to hold, the universe became the heart of Vrindavan. His insatiable appetite for butter led him to craft ingenious plans, climbing human pyramids, sneaking into homes, and even charming his way through locked doors. No amount of butter was safe from Krishna. But it wasn't just mischief that made Krishna beloved. When threats loomed over Vrindavan, be it the ferocious bull sent by Kamsas, or the monster serpent Kalaya, Krishna stepped forward, vanquishing foes with courage and grace, ensuring that Vrindavan remained a haven of peace. 3. Radha, the moonbeam of Vrindavan. In the heart of Vrindavan, Radha blossomed like a radiant lotus in a tranquil pond. Born into a simple family, her beauty was a well. But it was her soul, full of love and purity, that made her truly exceptional. Radha's bond with Krishna was the stuff of legends. Their friendship began in childhood, with shared games and stolen glances. As they grew, so did their bond, evolving into a love, so deep that the very mention of Krishna would send Radha into a trance-like state. The Jew was inseparable. Whether it was frolicking in the meadows, playing by the riverbank, or simply sitting under a tree, lost in conversation, their chemistry was palpable. The entire village spoke of their enchanting relationship, a love pure and untainted by worldly desires. 4. The Magical Flute and Its Tune In Krishna's arsenal of charm, his flute was perhaps the most potent, a simple bamboo instrument, it became magical in his hands. Its melodies were not of this world. They resonated with the heartbeat of the universe. Every time Krishna played, Vrindavan would be enveloped in a sorrel tranquility. The trees seemed to lean in, the birds perched silently, and even the playful river Yamuna would pause, all entranced by the divine music. For Radha, Krishna's flute was a secret language they shared. Each tune, each note echoed the emotions they felt, but never voice. There were times when, upon hearing the flute's call, Radha would leave everything, drawn irresistibly to its source, her heart synchronizing with its rhythm. 5. The Dance of Divine Love Razlila On one such enchanted evening, when the moon was at its zenith, and the world seemed to be painted in silver, Krishna's flute sang a song of love. Drawn to its call, Radha, along with the goppis of Vrindavan, found themselves by the riverbank. What ensued was nothing short of magic. The Razlila, a dance of divine love, began. Krishna, multiplying himself, danced with each gopi, ensuring everyone felt his undivided attention. However, in the center of this celestial dance was Radha, with the original Krishna, their souls dancing in perfect harmony. The dance, a seamless blend of passion, devotion, and love, transcended time. For those who witnessed it, Razlila was not just a dance, but a manifestation of the pure love shared by Radha and Krishna. 6. Separation and Eternal Connection But as the sands of time flowed, destiny beckoned. Krishna had to leave Vrindavan to fulfill his divine purpose. The heart-wrenching farewells saw the entire village in tears, 
But it was Radha's silent agony that was the most poignant. Though miles apart, their bond remained unbroken. Krishna, in his royal duties and epic battles, always carried Radha in his heart. Back in Vrindavan, Radha found solace in their memories, cherishing each moment spent together. Their love story, though devoid of a conventional happy ending, became a symbol of eternal love. It reminded the world that true love isn't about being together, but about two souls resonating in perfect harmony, irrespective of the circumstances. Today, their tale lives on, not as a mere story, but as a testament to undying love, echoing through time, touching countless hearts, and inspiring generations. 7. The Divine Reunion in Dreams As days turned into nights and nights into days, Radha found solace in her dreams. Every night, as she closed her eyes, she was transported to a realm where Krishna awaited her. Their meetings in this dreamland were more real than reality itself. The dreamscape was a reflection of Vrindavan, but touched with an ethereal glow. Rivers sparkled brighter, flowers sang, and the very air seemed to be woven with threads of pure gold. Here, they were free from the constraints of the physical world, and their love knew no bounds. Each night, they would explore new dimensions of their love. Sometimes they would be young children again, stealing butter and playing by the riverbanks. At other times, they'd be mature lovers, sharing profound wisdom and understanding. And on special nights, Krishna would play his flute, and together they'd dance, echoing their celestial Weslila. These nightly reunions kept Radha's spirit alive. Every morning, she'd awaken with a smile, her heart full, waiting for night to fall and reunite with her beloved. 8. Krishna's Letters from Distant Lands One day, as Radha sat under their favorite tree, a bird, a beautiful golden swan, landed beside her, holding a delicate scroll in its beak. The scroll bore the insignia of Krishna. It was a letter, the first of many, that would arrive in the subsequent years. In his letters, Krishna would share tales of his adventures, his duties as a prince, and the battles he fought. But interspersed within these tales of bravery and duty were poems, songs, and words of love dedicated to Radha. Reading Krishna's words, Radha could hear his voice, feel his presence, and live through the experiences he described. Each letter was a piece of Krishna's soul sent across the miles to touch Radha's heart. In return, Radha would send letters back, often entrusting them to the same golden swan or the wind or even the river, believing they'd find their way to Krishna. Her letters spoke of Vrindavan, their memories, and the love that grew with each passing day. 9. The Festival of Love Holi in Vrindavan Vrindavan's most anticipated festival was Holi, the festival of colors. But in this land of love, it wasn't just a celebration of spring, but also of Krishna and Radha's eternal love. One year, in Krishna's absence, the villagers decided to dedicate the holy celebrations to Radha and Krishna's love story. The entire village was painted in blue and gold, representing the two lovers. Murals depicting their tales adorned every wall, and songs in their honor were sung. Radha, dressed in a blue sari with golden embroidery, looked like a reflection of Krishna. As the festivities began, she could feel Krishna's presence. It was as if the wind carried whispers of his laughter. The water echoed his songs, and every color thrown in the air painted tales of their love. When evening arrived, and it was time for the bonfire, a tradition where evils were burnt and hopes for a brighter tomorrow were kindled, Radha sang a song, her voice a mix of pain, love, and hope. As the flames danced to her tune, Everyone felt Krishna's presence, warming their hearts and souls. 10. The Return of the Blueprints Years had passed, and one evening, as the sun painted the sky in hues of gold and purple, a familiar flute's melody wafted through Vrindavan. The notes, though familiar, had matured, echoing tales of distant lands, heroic battles, and yearning. Radha, recognizing the tune, felt her heart race. She followed the melody and found herself at the riverbank the very spot where they had danced under the moonlight. And there, against the setting sun, stood Krishna, his blue skin now reflecting the wisdom of his journeys. The reunion was silent. Words would have been superfluous. They simply gazed into each other's eyes, letting their souls converse. The universe seemed to pause, giving them this stolen moment. Their love, 
which had endured separation, distance, and time, had only grown stronger. It was a testament to the world that true love never diminishes, it only grows, evolving, maturing, and becoming more profound. 11. The Legacy of Love The tale of Radha and Krishna's love didn't end with their earthly lives. Their story, told and retold over generations, became a symbol of eternal love, devotion, and commitment. Centuries later, in every corner of India and even beyond, when lovers pledge eternal love, they invoke the blessings of Radha and Krishna. Temples dedicated to them stand as a testament to their undying love with their idols, often depicted together, symbolizing unity and love. Their story, celebrated through festivals, songs and dances, reminds the world of love's timeless nature. It speaks of a love that doesn't bind, but liberates a love that isn't about possession, but about connection and a love that transcends time, space, and even lifetimes. 12. The Sacred Groove Conversations of Love Groove was no ordinary place in Vrindavan. Covered in a canopy of dense trees with the sun peeking through, it seemed as if the heavens themselves had designed it for Radha and Krishna. Birds sang their sweetest songs, and the fragrance of jasmine filled the air. Within this sacred groove, Radha and Krishna found solace and retreat. They sat for hours, sometimes in silence, listening to the whispering leaves and the babbling brook nearby. The stillness was, however, frequently interrupted by their discussions on life, love, and the mysteries of the universe. Krishna shared stories of his travels, of kings, and warriors of lands far and wide. He spoke of his experiences, the people he met, and the lessons he'd learned. Radha, with her eyes sparkling with curiosity, drank in every word. In return, she recounted tales of Vrindavan, the villagers, dreams that sustained her during their separation. Amid their tales, deeper philosophical musings arose. Krishna pondered the nature of duty, the importance of dharma, while Radha reflected on the essence of pure love, devotion, and surrender. These conversations were not just exchanges of words. They were exchanges of souls, laying the foundations for spiritual teachings that would resonate through India for centuries. 13. The Enchanted Boat Ride On the night of Sharad Purnima, when the moon was at its brightest, Radha and Krishna embarked on a boat ride on the shimmering Yamuna. The waters reflected the celestial glow, making it seem like they were floating among the stars. As Krishna rowed, the gentle splashes of water created a rhythm. Radha began humming, her voice filling the night air. Moved by her melodious tune, Krishna set aside his oar and began playing his flute. Together, they created a musical spell, enchanting every creature in Vrindavan. Amid the music, Krishna recounted the epic tale of the Mahabharata. He spoke of valor, treachery, duty, and righteousness. Radha listened, her heart heavy with the weight of the choices Krishna had to make during the Great War. Their discussions on this boat ride merged music, love, and profound wisdom, encapsulating the essence of their divine connection. 14. The Promise of Return The fateful day approached when Krishna would have to leave Vrindavan once more. The village was immersed in sorrow, but none felt the pain more than Radha. At the riverbank, where many of their memories were etched, Trishna, holding Radha's hands, made a solemn vow. Even if mountains move and oceans dry up, our love will remain unshaken. Every lifetime, in every corner of the universe, I promise to find you. Tears streamed down Radha's face as she replied, In every rustling leaf, in every whisper of the wind, in every heartbeat of Vrindavan, I'll await you. 15. The legend lives on. As years turned into decades and decades into centuries, the essence of Radha and Krishna's love permeated through India. Their love story is not just a tale, it was a living legacy. Every tree in Vrindavan seemed to whisper their tales, every stone seemed to echo with their laughter, and every breeze seemed to carry their love songs. Poets, scholars, and artists across generations drew inspiration from their love story, penning epics, composing melodies, and painting canvases that captured their essence. Temples erected in their name became places where devotees sought a connection, akin to what Radha and Krishna shared. The celebrations of Holi and Jamashtami became synonymous with their love, turning into grand affairs, where stories of their romance, playfulness, 
and wisdom were shared and celebrated. 16. The message for mankind. While their love was ethereal, the tale of Radha and Krishna held profound messages for mankind. It spoke of a love that transcended the physical realm, a love that was eternal, selfless, and pure. In Krishna's journey, one could see the essence of duty and righteousness. Despite the depths of his love for Radha, he never shied away from his responsibilities. He taught mankind that love wasn't a barrier to duty instead. It could be the very force that propelled one towards it. Radha's undying devotion and patience stood as a testament to the power of true love. She taught that love wasn't about physical proximity, but the meeting of souls, connection of hearts, and the alignment of purposes. Their story was a reminder that love wasn't a fleeting emotion. It was a journey, an eternal bond, a spiritual connection. In their tale, humanity found hope, wisdom, and the true essence of love and devotion. Across the annals of time, Radha and Krishna's love remains a beacon, guiding souls in their quest for love, duty, and divine connection. The end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the next piece. Thank you for your support. Please give us a high rating and subscribe to our channel to keep this activity going.